morning, everyone. Welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, we're back in the garage and we're gonna do a do-it-yourself rifle and pistol target. So I got this idea by looking up some videos online and I was looking for a, a cheap option for our, our property um, up in Oklahoma that we wanted to set up a little rifle range to sight in our rifles as well as a pistol range to kind of practice our shooting up there. Um, so again, this is gonna be a pretty quick video it's uh, relatively inexpensive and you don't need a lot of tools so let's go ahead and go through the materials and tools needed for the materials for the do-it-yourself rifle and pistol stand all you're gonna need is two two by four by eight pieces of wood I have these here they're about two or three dollars each if you wanted to go something with treated lumber you're gonna be looking at five or six dollars each um, and and you would want to go treat it if you're gonna be leaving it outside so that it doesn't rot or anything like that. But this is fairly mobile, so I plan on bringing it in and out of our barn. Um, you also need a box of two and a half inch screws. And as I mentioned in my previous do-it-yourself archery video, I like the T25 bit screws. And that's because I just believe it's easier to work with. Um, they work a little bit better than the Phillips head. But if you want the Phillips head and that's what you have, that works just fine. Um, and then as far as tools needed, I've got a good set of plans down there. I can post those if, if needed. Um, and then safety obviously is the number one. So I've got my PPE, my safety glasses, and my hearing protection. And I've got a drill with a drill bit, a tape measure, a square for being able to draw a straight line, and then a pencil. And one thing you don't see pictured here is you'll need some sort of saw. Um, if all you have is a circular saw, that works just fine. Today I'm going to be using my miter saw. Alright, so the first thing we're going to cut is the side legs. Those are 24 inches long. So let's go ahead and measure that. So what I like to do is use my first piece as a sample, so I make sure I get the same length. So we'll line it up. So now we're going to cut those middle pieces, and those are going to be 17 inches long. Next, we're going to need the pieces that are going to hold your stand. Um, so it's going to go in like this. So you need basically the thickness of your 2x4. So 2x4s aren't actually 2x4. They're about 3.5 inches wide. So let's just measure to be sure. Yep, so it's three and a half. So we're going to cut two pieces at length of three and a half inches. So with this other two by four, I usually measure it and just cut it right in half. These are going to be your posts that stick up. Now we have all of our pieces cut, it's time to start assembly. So here are all the cut pieces that you'll need for this project. At the top you have the two four foot pieces. Those are going to be holding up your cardboard, your plywood, or your steel targets. Just below that you have your two 24 inch pieces. Those will be kind of the legs on the support for the base. And then below that you have your two 17 inch pieces which is the middle part of your base. And then just to the left of those, you have two three and a half inch pieces, which will help hold up your four foot pieces. So let's go ahead and get started this simple. So 
this, he put these pieces in here for now, just to give you an idea of where this guy's going to go, so you might as well just show some marks on here of the front edge. So I cut some extra blocks here. I'm going to use that as a, a guide. So there you have it. Here's our stand. So from here you can kind of customize it how you want. You can add you know, two more blocks in the middle if you want to hold another post potentially or if you want to be able to move your posts around. What I plan on doing is I'm going to have a piece of plywood going across that will hold a target. Alright, <clears throat> so today I finally got in my uh, metal gongs to do the pistol portion of the target stand. So. I have a, another 2x4 here, so if you want to do this or do this add-on, you know, there's a couple options you can do. You don't have to put a piece of plywood here. You, know, you can set this up where you just put some cardboard between it if you want. You know, um, there's, there's a lot of different functionality with this. You, know, you can customize it to do your own thing. Uh, in the past, what I've done is I've, I've done some chains, hung chains on both sides and held the, the metal gong right here. Um, and, and that works really well. Uh, but I, I've come up with a, an idea based on some other videos I've seen that will help um, bring that gong right back to uh, your your flat position so that you can keep shooting at it over and over and it's, uh, it's not sitting there moving back and forth for, on chains. Um, and so I'm going to go into a little bit of how I do that. And so I'm, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole through this two by four, and I'll end up putting two targets on here. Um, and so I'll go ahead and start going through and doing that now, and then I'll, as I get through it and, and put it together, I'll, I'll walk through that process. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna drill a hole long ways. And so you want it in the middle of the board. All right, so I bought these steel targets uh, on Amazon. It came with a three inch, four inch, five inch, and six inch. So this is the six inch here. Um, it was like 35 bucks. I'll put a link for it, so if y'all wanna use it, you can. Uh, and I'll test them out in another video with this testing of the stand as well. So what I'm gonna do here is you'll need an eight inch long, half inch carriage bolt. You'll need a half inch nut. And then three half inch washers. You're also gonna need some springs, some half inch interior dimension springs. And I'll put a link for these as well. On the springs, you wanna make sure they're pretty, pretty tough, hard to squeeze, because that'll give you that recoil comeback that you want so you can have a follow up shot. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your bolt and you're gonna put on your target and then you'll put a washer on and then you'll put the spring and then another washer. And so now I'll go ahead and feed this through. And so then on this side, you'll want a washer and then you take your nut and you tighten it down. And again, you can, what I would do is I'd push down on the spring a little bit and tighten the nut there. And again, you can tighten it as much as you want for your desired kind of recoil for it to come back. What I also did that I didn't show on videos, I added a, another section so I can put this in the middle here, like that. So I'll go through and show you how I take this out and put this new one in and set that up. So to take it out, I usually stand on the, the back of the target because it's easier to pull up. You just grab here, pull this up. And then because I put that middle spot, I can now put this guy back in. 
If you don't have extra wood to do the middle spot, you know, you could put it in one of the left or right sides. So here you can see I've got the stand here. And so when they, when you hit it, it's going to hit and bounce back, hit and bounce back. And so that allow you for a good follow-up shot, you know, if you want to do that. And again, like I said, you can tighten it up a little bit more if you want it to be a little bit better. And again, that's why you, it's beneficial to have a good tight spring. So I'm going to end up putting a couple more, um, steel targets down this frame here so i have multiple to shoot at um and then i'll do a video a little bit later and, and i can do a slow motion or zoom up of how this takes a hit and comes back um and so you know look for that and once i get it finished i'll add a, a card here up in this corner so that you can click on it um and see that video as well so there you have it the cheap do-it-yourself pistol and rifle target so if you like this video Please check out my do-it-yourself archery target or any of my other videos. Subscribe to my channel. As always, I appreciate it. Thanks.